Staff and students of the Okanagan Mission Secondary School Band Program recently returned from a 10-day tour of the Netherlands, where they showcased their audio-visual project entitled Regrowth to Locals of Different Communities. Well, I'm here with Megan, and she is one of the music directors. Can you tell me a little bit about why you decided to choose this project or maybe this historical event to dive so far into? Yeah, um, I'll maybe start by just saying that our music program does do a three year, every three years we do do an international touring uh, experience. Um, and we've been very passionate in the past about teaching students the importance of World War II, World War I uh, and the, the past histories and using music to portray those stories is just such a fantastic way to get the, the emotion through. So. Um, we're always very um, involved in Remembrance Day ceremonies and, and find that that's a really important thing that we want to share with our students. So it sort of came from there. It also came from 2005, uh, sorry, 2003, they um, performed the Regrowth show with the same type of idea for the Okanagan Mountain Fire. Um, and so the idea kind of started from there. Kelowna now stopped by the school for one of the band's final rehearsals and to find out how they're feeling after their return from the Netherlands. I'm here with Emma, she's one of the performers uh, for the OKM band. Can you tell me a little bit about your experience so far with this project? Yeah, for sure. It was amazing going on this trip and just experiencing the Netherlands culture and just working with our band program to just spread this message of regrowth and just, you know, liberation. And I understand that you got to go to the Netherlands. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yes, we did. We went to the Netherlands and Germany and we performed a couple different times with our regrowth presentation. Um, it was absolutely amazing getting to work together and just, just again, spread that message of just regrowth and, and the idea of the bond between Canada and Netherlands. It was just amazing. In addition to performing for civilians, students also had the chance to showcase their projects to veterans of the World War. And so what was it like for you being there and, and maybe your first performance, what were sort of the emotions going on? Oh, it, it's intense, you know, you're sitting there and it really hits you, it really hits you that, you know, okay, we're here now, we're doing uh, what we've been preparing so long to do for and it's, it's, an, it's an incredible uh, feeling to have. It seems like it would have been quite an extensive preparing process. What was it like, um, what sort of things did you do to prepare yourself? Oh, we've been preparing for over a year. It's been over a year uh, long process. We played this music every class for hours, you know, and after school practices for hours, and lots of lots of time and effort put into it, individual practices at home. Um, so it's it's a long time to prepare for, but it, in the end, it's extremely worth it to do it. It's such a wonderful opportunity to have. And what was it like for you being able to to also incorporate your love of music? Obviously, you're in bands. What was it like to be able to travel and play your music for other people and get to come back and share experiences? Oh, it's amazing. I'm a huge music fanatic. I have been for years. Um, so to be able to do these things, it's it's incredible. It's an incredible experience to have to perform with you know you know a hundred or so of your, some of your closest friends. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. This was not just a musical project, but a historical one. Students collaborated with their school's social studies programs as well as local historians both here and in the Netherlands, as well as their own families where they learned more of their ancestors who participated in the liberation. Um, our great uncle William was there um, and he was very gifted in languages. So basically what he would do was he would go ahead of the armies and listen in to the villages and figure out the situation if it was taken over by German armies or what was going on. And it was really powerful because we got to visit a cemetery that was, I think it was 2,000 Canadian soldiers? And so um, it was very, um, I mean you feel very connected to the past and the sacrifice and the freedom that we take for granted so much every day in our lives. Students have spent copious amount of time in the preparation process and have dedicated large amounts of time to perfecting their instruments. The staff have also put in long hours to make sure that this opportunity was able to happen. I'm here with Ed, he is one of the music directors and you also saw him standing in front of everyone while they were performing. Um, so you, you prepared for, for years for these two weeks, um, was it everything that you hoped for? It, it was. What it does is it, it gives an occasion that students rise to the occasion. Um, what we hope for is that students can do meaningful work all across the curriculum. And that's what we call that 21st century learning. Um, 
it was incredible for all the students. I mean, the, the tour was not the main focus. It was doing this project, having the students learn uh, about their own history, about Canadian history, to collaborate with social studies teachers. Uh, so it was, uh, again, a broader view that worked all together. We were out there listening and, and they sound incredible. They sound way beyond their years. And, and what does that, how does that make you feel? Do you feel such pride seeing these guys, you know, so talented? Ab absolutely. And, and, and thank you for pointing that out. Um, it's incredible that students can show a persistent commitment. I mean, this is the extended learning kids do in music, that these are hard instruments to play. They're real uh, adult instruments. Uh, some of the students you heard had only had two years previous experience and now they're playing at this level, so we're very proud of them. Students of the OKM band program will put on one final performance at the school's gym on April 25th at 7pm. For KelownaNow.com, I'm Savannah Bagshaw.